Good day everyone, Reborn Ranger here, and we're back at it again with another video. Here in episode 3, we're going to start off with the building process of District 3. We're going to build several buildings, and we're going to go in depth on what District 3 has to offer for the city of Euphoria. Now with this out of the way, let's just jump straight into it. Right, here we are ladies and gentlemen this is our first build for the city of Emporia flying over here district 3 this is the what I like to call the base placement what I'll do normally when I'm uh, going through these videos I like to uh, not even the videos but just building the city I will sit there and just hover I'll fly around I'll think I'll see what makes sense when placing down every single one of these buildings because this is a creation, and when creating something, you build it from the ground up. So it can be a little bit, a uh, little bit uh, time-consuming, but very fun at the same time. So here we're going to jump into building the house. Here we're going to go and clear off this sign. And we're going to start building our house. This will be a standard house for all the citizens. So we'll go and clear off uh, all this grass here, so we can place down our floor. Uh, I like to do uh, stone since uh, I like to keep it simple, keep it standard, and maybe there'll be up some upgrades for the future. Uh, what I like to do also is uh, stone bricks for the corners and the borders. Uh, I like, just like that to show, just like that to pop a little bit. Fix that there, there you go. Uh, I'm also going to clear this out and put uh, spruce door. That's the standard door for all the houses. Um, and then also I like the uh, spruce uh, wood planks. Um, I just I just feel that that's uh, probably the best one um, for... Oh, I gotta fix that there, there you go. Um, I just feel like that's the, that's the best one there for uh, the houses and it blends well with the city. Uh, we're gonna get a door frame here with stone bricks as well. Um, now, now our roof, I wanted to, to sort of blend in with the house, but I wanted to stand out just a little bit as well. Um, the stone brick stairs as the overhang just for the front side of the roof, just a little bit. Um, and you'll see here that I'll go ahead and do the uh, spruce wood stairs as well. Uh, just for the top part, and then the borders for the uh, stone brick stairs. Finish it off here, and then cover it up the, with the planks, and then for the very top, um, as the border around the entire house, uh, stone brick stairs. Just finish that up there. There we go. And then uh, I like to put the slabs, just a little bit of uh, aesthetic purposes, uh, just so it's not so, uh, just, just so it's not sticking out there. And then we're going to go inside. I'm only going to do uh, a dark oak fence with a uh, with a torch in any one of the corners, just one of them. Um, and break that there. And then the stone brick uh, for the uh, for the windowsill, or for the window frame, I guess. And then that is, that is the house. All right, we're going to start building our stables here. Each uh, stable is normally around the same type of stable, but uh, this one here specifically will go and do this type of uh, shape. We cleared all this grass here. We're going to fill it in with uh, coarse dirt. Um, we we'll probably fill it in with normal dirt just to uh, make that pop a little bit. And we're going to go and do our borders again here with the uh, stone bricks. Up on each corner here. I usually like to go about uh, four or five bricks high, kind of depending on the building. Uh, the houses will remain the same as well, but uh, I'll bring that up more. All right, perfect. Now uh, we're gonna go and use the same uh, bricks here, the uh, or the planks, the spruce uh, wood planks. Ooh, I'm gonna fix that there. Perfect. Cool. Finish that off, and there we have our shape. Now I'm only gonna do the corners for the uh, stone brick uh, stairs here, and then we'll fill in the middle. Uh, with the spruce wood stairs and as the roofs go higher uh, we'll go and fill in each oh, always do that all right I, I'm not a veteran I promise I, I do not claim to be a very good mine, minecraft builder but still got still got a lot of a passion though promise there we go and then uh, we're not gonna do the corners for the uh, stairs there uh, just we'll just do the one on the side and overhang just a little bit. And then we're gonna fill in the wood stairs again. Now as we get higher on the roofs, we're gonna go ahead and just make them just a little bit smaller. Um, they're, I, I think they're going to appear smaller, but uh, they're still the three. So I got one, two, three there. 
I need to get those stone brick stairs in there. And uh, there we got the shape of the shape of the stable. Uh, a little a little bit higher, just when you ride in there with a horse, uh, you don't have to actually have to get off. You can ride in there and uh, call it good. Uh, now we're gonna go for the just the top part of the roof. Uh, put the corners in for the stone bricks stone brick stairs. Pardon me. Um, and then we're gonna finish off with the slabs uh, here in the uh, very front. And then I broke that off there just so you can get a little bit of light inside. I'm gonna go one more there and one more here, and uh, I'll probably put. I think I might just leave those open just for now. I might put something in there a little bit later. Uh, put a torch in just the very back, and then uh, put the windows in. Perfect, looking good, looking good. All right, and there you have it. We just want to put those uh, those gates there and those posts. Um, I might build those up a little bit later, I might uh, put a little more detail on that, but uh, for now, that will be um, our stables. Uh, might want to finish that off right there. And I think, uh, I think we're good. Yeah, that's the stables for now. Uh, again, I'm probably put a little more detail on that a little bit later, um, but for now I just want to get the shape of the stables there. So here I wanted to cut quickly to a uh, just a quick flyover of the type of density that's within the city. Uh, I'm not a histo I'm not a medieval historian, mind you. I'm not an expert, but from what I do know, from from what friends have been telling me, is that uh, these medieval these large medieval cities they were their people were living pretty close. They were very very uh, close together, and the houses almost merged. Uh, I'm not I'm really going that close, but I just really wanted to show the layout of how exactly I wanted to show the city uh, to be true to to be as close to a medieval city as possible. Um, you'll, you'll see some open areas, but I really wanted to uh, make, it, uh, make it known and make it uh, show within the city. All right, we're gonna go ahead and build a watchtower. Take out that sign there. We're gonna go ahead and fill in. We're gonna take out the grass first and we're gonna fill it in with stone. And then we're gonna get our stone bricks. We're gonna get a base placement of uh, five by five for the base. And then for the height, we're gonna go ahead and do a very specific number, number 13. And I honestly don't know where that number came from. I just built one watchtower one day and I just stuck with it. And speaking of which, I, the government likes uniformity within the entire city. For, for, for most things, some things they'll be a little bit lenient, lenient on. Um, or for here, we're going to go ahead and do um, all watchtowers are, are going to look the same. So we got our borders there for our heights, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get our uh, our door in here. So the doors are going to be a dark, uh, dark oak wood door. Sorry, tongue twister. And we're going to get our border, put the door in there. And most government buildings, uh, including military, you're going to see uh, those dark oak wood doors as well. So we're going to fill an entire tower with stone, and then we're going to cut off uh, three uh, from the top. That'll be our lookout point for the soldiers. And then we're going to go ahead and get our dark oak wood stairs for our, our cone shape uh, roof. Uh, I decided to go with this and not just the, the, the two points uh, with the roof sliding down. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to just give it a, give it a cone shape, give it something a little different. I'm um, going to finish that off, get that going, and just put that placement there so I can continue building there. Destroy that. All right, perfect. I'm loving the view of the city. I absolutely love it. This is I'm so excited to actually complete this and and share it with you guys. This is going to be so much fun. And then get that uh, get that. I want, I, want, I want to put a slab. I don't want to put the uh, put the brick. I think just too much showing. Uh, showing out there, so uh, break off that in the, in the bottom right there. Perfect. Uh, so now I want to put um, the stone brick slab uh, on the edge of the pillar there. Oh, not that. We want uh, the slab. There we go. Perfect. Uh, I usually do that within all the wall on, on top of all the walls, and then here I just decided to put it there as well. So I got the basic shape of our watchtower. And then I'll put the uh, stone brick stairs on the outside just for aesthetic reasons, just uh, make it pop a little more, make it look nice. 
and filled in with grass, get a little landscaping going on there, and uh, call the outside good. So now we're going to go ahead and, yeah, it's going to double check, looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and go inside, and I want to keep it simple for the uh, spiral staircase. It's a, it's a single staircase, by the way. And the, the government likes to, um, they like to keep things simple, uh, but they also like quantity. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice a little bit and uh, sacrifice that, that quantity for quality. Um, so we wanna go about uh, three to four blocks high here just so the soldiers have a little bit uh, more to uh, run around here. And then we're gonna go get our warning system in place. Um, there's bells in every single watchtower and the, the government put in place a uh, different type of warning system. So whatever the threat is to um, to the city. Um, there's going to be a certain amount of times the bell's rung and the citizens will know what that threat is and they know uh, where to go and what to do. We're going to go finish off our watchtower by putting a couple lamps up in the top and the one there in the bottom. We're going to shut that door and we are going to call it good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is our watchtower. And you see many of them throughout the city. And uh, that is that. Looking good. So I took up the challenge of building a diagonal shop. I, I built a diagonal bridge and I thought it looked okay, I looked at, thought it looked pretty good. Um, but something a little more smaller, eh, I wasn't so sure. So, sort of a carnival type feel to where um, those windows are open. There's actually no windows, but it's just the, just the slots. Um, so it'll just be something where, pa where villagers will pass by, they'll pick something up, they'll head out. Nothing too crazy, but uh, I just wanted to show it off here just real quick. Alright, so now we're going to go and show you the bank here in District 3 that was built. There's already a, uh, a government, or the main bank, up in the upper city. Uh, but I just want to put something here in District 3 just due to the amount of shops that are here and the amount of entertainment. Uh, I thought it was a pretty good fit. Um, so here we have uh, the, the front room well, with a pretty simple chandelier up top and two windows in the back. And uh, a couple of these slits here to where um, villagers can come in and um, deposit uh, some money, take out some money, whatever whatever they need to, um, where, the bank, where the bank tellers are. And then the uh, bank manager is going to be in the back. And then these chests of gold there as well. And that is pretty much it. Keeping it pretty simple. I'll add a few things later on, but uh, that's the bank in District 3. All right, just a quick progression fly over here of District 3. We got done with our bank, and we're going to go and throw in a double-decker uh, tavern right off there to the left. Once we uh, circle down here, we're going to be throwing in an arena for entertainment, uh, barracks, an uh, inn, and then the District 3 Town Center. All right, so I just want to show real quickly the uh, storage buildings for the city. Uh, these uh, buildings are going to be about four to five bricks high. And then we're gonna go and uh, fill it in here with uh, stone as well. Uh, get our borderline for our door frame there. And then we're gonna fill it in with uh, stone on the side there. And for the very top, we're gonna go and fill it up with stone as well. So it's a very basic build, uh, nothing too crazy. And what I like, like to do with the slabs is do a uh, sort of a diagonal shape on all the sides. And then we're gonna do one torch on the corners. And then we're going to use the uh, acacia uh, wood doors for these uh, storage buildings. All right, so now we're finally moving on to District 3's town center. As you can see, each town center, I like to give it just a little bit of a different shape, uh, just to keep it uh, unique and uh, different, so not everything's too much the same. And we got a little bit of a cross shape here that uh, we go and put in. Got the stone uh, stone bricks. Stone material, uh, all, the way, all the way around the wall, and then we're using our uh, spruce wood uh, planks as our floor, just for uh, these government buildings. And then for the stone bricks, we're going to go ahead and get the uh, get our corners up here, just so it uh, kind of shows it, it sort of uh, pops, and it's not just all blending into uh, the entire building. And then we're going to fill that part up with stone as well here later on. And then for our flooring, uh, for our second floor, we did get the uh, spruce wood planks as well. And then the dark oak wood 
uh, stairs. We're going to implement those. Um, a little bit of a, uh, of a roof uh, hangover there. Uh, I'm going to go all the way around. Uh, now, if it doesn't run into a tree, I usually try to merge it just to uh, uh, keep it natural. Uh, make sure to not make too many changes to uh, the surrounding areas. Uh, so we're going to be going all the way up uh, here to the second level. We're going to finish that part off and then back around here and to complete the roof as it uh, kind of merges into itself there. Look, looking really, really good. I like that. All right, last but not least here, we're going to go ahead and move into the arena. This is smack dab in the middle of District 3. And it's primarily made up of cobblestone, stone uh, for the seating area, and then stone bricks for the edge, for the edging and the archway there. We used uh, coarse dirt and dirt mixed in the middle. And this is going to be primarily used for uh, smaller comedy shows, sword fights, and uh, any other type of activities like that. And here is the government building uh, for the arena. This is where the arena master will go ahead and look out uh, towards the balcony there. With District 3 finally complete, this marks the halfway milestone for the completion of the skeleton phase for Emporia. Please enjoy these final shots of the final overview of District 3. Alright guys, that does it for District 3. Thank you, thank you so much for stopping by again. This was great. I, it was a little bit of a longer episode, but I still had a great time making it, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did enjoy it, please leave, leave a like, a comment. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. That would be awesome. Now, in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and share District 4. This will be the Dock Supporting and Storage District. But for now, we're going to go ahead and end the video. Hope you all have a wonderful day. This is Reborn Ranger, signing off.